Since the 1950s, South Etobicoke has been evolving from an agricultural landscape into an urban zone for businesses. A Walk Amongst the Workplaces aims to talk about some of these changes from the University of Toronto School of Design. Architects, students, and writers are working together at the Daniels Design Building to study South Etobicoke's history. They looked across several maps from the past and present, but the differences raised more questions than answers. The reason we've chosen this area of, of uh, South Etobicoke is, is an area that that is actually evolving uh, quite rapidly in a very interesting way uh, and, and, and also in a somewhat unplanned way. And I think that's one of the things that's most interesting. It's evolving not as a result of any policy change that says new uses should flood in and change. Uh, rather, it's really a kind of ground up, a ground up uh, kind of movement that's basically is involved the changes in the way the industries work in those areas and people taking advantage of space that comes available as people start to, industries and people start to move into other parts of the city and, and beyond. The strangest area was a six-point intersection just northwest of South Etobicoke. It started as an open space for new urbanization plans to happen. Instead, it became divided with local businesses being close to factories and industrial sites. There's a whole kind of story that says that Toronto doesn't have a history, it's a very short sort of period of time. We disagree with that, that's actually not true. Every place has a history, and these places have extremely interesting history. So we're sort of trying to study that as well. But like I said, it's all in the beginning. So we'll be, we're, we're at this point, we're just listening. Uh, and we're hearing what other people have to say, we're watching, we'll soon start documenting, and then maybe in a year from now, we'll have some very concrete ideas about uh, yeah, public space in those places in the city. Toronto Star columnist Sean McAuliffe says you can spot some of these pretty obvious changes simply by stopping and looking around. I think walking is, um, uh, it gives you this kind of granular view of, of the place. And these neighborhoods in South Otoko, they tend to be car oriented. You know, people drive in and drive out. And when you're driving, you go a little bit too fast. Walking through it really slowly, you can kind of like stop and, and, and listen and look and just kind of really look. Um, and any other speed, even biking, um, the bus, uh, driving, it's a little too fast. Whereas in walking, you will notice these details that you won't see anywhere else. So you might see different layers of like the businesses that were there before. You might see some interesting new things that are happening. The discussions are only the first part of this event. Guests will also be joining speakers in a walk that explores the areas that evolved across South Etobicoke. Clement Go, Skedline.com.